UFC 261, it was one of the best events of the year. Not only that, I think it was one of the best events of all time. And we all saw what happened in the main event. Jorge Masvidal gets knocked out. But there's one thing that I don't think anybody's talking about, and then that's Joe Rogan interviewing a fighter after he's knocked out. Give us your thoughts. Let's do a quick history check on why this is such a big deal. Joe Rogan was heavily criticized after UFC 203 in which Alistair Overeem was knocked out by Stipe and he said post fight I got him in a guillotine choke and I clearly felt the tap and Joe Rogan was like well let's take a look at it right well let's take a look at it we'll have the truck pull it and let's look at the big screen tell us when you see the tap showed it on the big screen there was no tap and then Joe Rogan says well let's take a look at another angle you didn't see it there, but you felt it. We'll take a look at it one more time from another angle and see if we can isolate it. Where do you see the tap? And then there was no tap. And they really put over him in a very uncomfortable position. He was heavily criticized. It was in Ohio and Steve Bates back, a hometown. People were booing. Well, it, it didn't look like a tap to us. And afterwards, Joe Rogan tweeted like, hey, I asked the UFC brass that we should not interview fighters after they've been knocked out. I don't think it's wise, I don't think it's fair, we shouldn't do it. Everyone agreed with it, everyone was on board. You know what, you're right, absolutely. Less than a year later, UFC 214, DC versus John Jones 2, Daniel Cormier gets knocked out. What does Joe Rogan do? He sticks a microphone in DC's face. Give us your thoughts right now. That's where you got the infamous crying meme of DC. Daniel Cormier himself, he said like, you know, I don't know what happened in there. I don't know what the hell is going on. Oh, I don't even know what happened. Well, DC, you know, I don't normally like to do this, but I want to give you an opportunity. He knows he screwed up again, basically. Like, I don't even realize what I was doing. I was just in shock almost. Like, I went on instinct. I don't think it's a good idea to interview fighters after they've been knocked out, but I really wanted to give you a chance to express yourself. I Dude. What are you doing? This guy is concussed and you're out there trying to interview him. It's just, it's, it, was, it was anger, it was sadness. People were upset, as they should be. And then Joe Rogan explained, like, listen. Uh, it was just 100% my fuck up. And I apologize to DC. I apologize to everyone. I was in kind of a shock. I didn't, I didn't want to interview. I said I wouldn't want to interview fighters. Like, fine. All right, fine. You, you made a mistake. No problem. Well, as you know, in the last year, during the pandemic, there's obviously absolutely no... Uh, post fight interviews in cage so UFC 261 first time in a year there are fans in attendance and Joe Rogan can, can, can go inside the cage and interview fighters well Zhang Wei Li got interviewed and she was TKO it wasn't a brutal TKO but it was still a TKO loss I mean you saw her I mean she was staggered she had trouble standing up yeah no man I forgot what to say one plan to say I don't think he should have been interviewed, but Jorge Masvidal, dude, that was a slobber knocker. I mean, Jorge Masvidal was knocked out brutally. He was out cold. <laughs> he needed help getting up back to his feet. I mean, Usman blasted him on the feet and landed multiple shots, and you can see Jorge Masvidal go stiff. And what did Joe Rogan do? He did the one thing he said he would not do, not once, but twice. As far as how the interview went, I think the interview went okay. I think I think Jorge Masvidal was okay, but I don't know that. You know, maybe it went well, maybe it wouldn't have went well. But the fact is, it never even should have got to that. Joe Rogan never should have interviewed Jorge Masvidal, nor any fighter who's knocked out, especially in that manner. That was a brutal knockout. Joe Rogan was the one who said, I should not interview fighters after they got knocked out like that. So it was my idea to stop doing this and the UFC agreed. So it's not like like they said we gotta stop doing it. Then the DC thing happened, he apologized, but then it's happening again. So at what point do you hold them accountable? I mean, you're holding fighters accountable, you're, you're holding judges accountable, you're holding referees accountable, you're holding the journalists accountable, you're holding the coaches accountable. At what point do you, do you do you hold Joe Rogan accountable? I violated my own idea. Because he has said and done a lot of dumb stuff, and this is just one of them. He said he wouldn't do this, he did it again, he did it again. When's he, when's he gonna stop?
it's very likely that Jorge Masvidal will wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what, I don't know what happened. The last thing I remember is waking up in a hospital or back in my locker room. Like, that's the only thing I remember. So, to me, it was just disgraceful. Should not have happened. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what did you think? Because I feel like he should not be interviewing fighters after they get KO'd like that. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care if the fighter feels they're okay, they're not okay. We don't know that minutes after they get KO'd. Should not happen. Joe Rogan was wrong. 